A spark plug is like poop in your body. It tells you what's going on. All you have to do is read the signs. If you want to know what your spark plugs are telling you about your vehicle and what the color means, watch this video to the end and you'll find out how. Yo, what's going on my YouTube family? This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Bring you guys another video. I think this video is very well needed um, for the community. And I think that this video is gonna kind of capture and identify things that can help your engine last longer. In addition, I feel like it will put you in a position to where you will know what's going on with your car so you can be proactive to make sure that you don't have any problems in the future. So one of the main things that you can do to ensure that your car is running the way it needs to be is looking at your spark plugs. So, all right guys, so check this out. I come from a family full of medical people. So I love giving crazy analogies. Spark plugs is gonna be kind of like your poop. Your poop is supposed to tell you how your body is. For example, if you have diarrhea, you know, you could be sick, you could have a virus. If you have a heart stool and defecated, you know that you need to get more fiber in your system. So a spark plug is the same way. So I hate to be so graphic with my analogy, but I just wanted to say that. So let's go ahead and get down to the grittiness of what's going on. So what we're about to do is we're gonna look at each spark plug and I'm gonna tell you guys what each spark plugs mean. And I'm also gonna leave a chart towards the end of the video to, so that you guys can reference it in the future or you can always come back to this video and support the channel okay so let's get started guys so i'm going to save the regular spark plug for the end because we know how the regular spark plug is supposed to look however it's not perfect so you still might want to be able to see that so we're going to go ahead and start with this spark plug right here so as you can see it's a lot of tarring on the spark plug it looks like it's kind of burned a little bit this spark plug was overheated so this is what you call a hot spark plug and what that means is basically when you are running your car, you're having some pre-ignition detonation on the spark plug and the spark plug is overheating. A lot of times, if you keep running these spark plugs, the electrode, which is this right here, can break and get into your engine, mess up your pistons and cause you some serious engine damage. So if you pull out your spark plug and it looks like this, you would probably want to go to colder spark plugs a lot of times when people are tuning their vehicles and they say you want a colder spark plug, this is what they're talking about. You don't want to have a spark plug this hot because I can guarantee you with a spark plug this hot, you can run into some significant issues in the future. Okay, let's go to the next spark plug. All right, guys, let's go to the next spark plug. So this spark plug is what you call an oil fouling spark plug. So if you ever have oil in your on your spark plug, if it's right here around this area, that just means that you probably have a valve cover that's leaking. If you see the oil right here, because the valve cover goes over the top of the spark plug housing. So that's when you will want to, you know, make sure that you seal up that valve cover. If oil is right here, it won't harm your spark plug. However, um, it's just irritable and it's just something you need to take care of. Now, if the oil is up here, what causes this is going to be a couple of things. One, you have too much blow by in your pistons and your ring. Um, your pistons and your ring are losing compression. And as a result, you're getting oil that's going past your pistons and your rings. So that's definitely going to be something that you might want to consider taking care of immediately. Also, a lot of times your oil can be too thin in your vehicle that you're running a lighter weight oil, which will, you know, enable it or make it go past the pistons in the ring. But this right here will cause you a lot of misfires on your vehicle. And this will also cause your car to stall out as the oil won't allow you to have a spark at all on your vehicle. So yeah, that's what this is. This is gonna be an oil filing spark plug. And as you can see, if I put my hand on it, it's pretty oily. All right, let's go to the next one, guys. So this spark plug kind of is similar to the other one. However, this one is not oily. This is going to be what you call a carbon buildup spark plug. So if you ever get your spark plug and it's black, but it's not oily, the primary cause is going to be 
carbon buildup in your vehicle. Like I said, I did a video on how you can identify your carbon buildup. I'm gonna put it right here at the top of the link so you can just kind of see that. So um, once again, if you have a lot of carbon buildup, it's also gonna cause you not to have a really efficient spark and it's gonna ultimately cause your vehicle um, not to run the way that it needs to be. So you wanna make sure you keep those carbon cleans. Make sure you look at my hack on carbon clean so you can know if you need one or ultimately get an oil catch can. There's a link for the oil catch can right there. So those are some resolutions to fix this issue. This is something you can definitely fix. So this is gonna be a carbon buildup. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay guys, this one is really not an issue, but a lot of people are confused when they see spark plugs that look like this. Anytime that you're running any kind of, you know, fuel adjective in your vehicle, you know, like a, a octane booster or a fuel treatment cleaner, it's gonna just, there's dye in there, so it's gonna ultimately turn your spark plug to a different color. So if your spark plug looks like looks like this, don't be afraid. It's probably because you're adding something to your fuel system to clean it or to give yourself a little bit more boost. So this does not hurt your spark plug. As you can see, um, it wipes right off. It's just a layer of dye. So you still have an efficient spark. It's a dry area that's not carbonated. So you shouldn't have any issues at all. But while we're on this subject, I just wanna say there's a lot of times to where you can have your electrode broken from it overheating. There's a lot of times you can have your insulator broken. I'm right here. So those are definitely things you wanna look at when you're looking at your spark plugs. If you have anything damaged on the insulator, or if you have anything damaged, see if I can get a focus on this little thing right here, the electrode. Excuse me, if you have anything damaged right here, or right here, it's definitely something you wanna just immediately take care of. And like I said, I'm showing you guys this video because it's so simple to change your spark plug. I'm gonna leave a link right here on how you change your spark plug for the people who wanna know how to do it. You wanna be proactive when you're working on your vehicle. You don't wanna wait for something to happen. You know, that's why my engine is still going strong. That's why I haven't replaced my engine yet because I'm proactive. If I see and I look at my vehicle, and if I'm identifying that there's a problem that's getting ready to happen and I'm one step ahead, I will never have that problem. So take the time out. If you're handy enough, you know, go in there, check your spark plugs, check if you have carbon buildup, utilize my videos to put yourself on the next level and ensure that your car lasts forever. All right, so let's go look at the grand finale. So this is gonna be how a regular spark plug looks. And this is 65,000 miles on this spark plug. As you can see, from looking at the spark plug, it's the electrode is still clean inside there. There's minimum tarnish on there. Of course, it's not gonna be perfectly white, but as you can see from looking at the spark plug, it's in pretty good shape. So this should be how a normal spark plug should look. And this is what you're gonna be looking for. I still got you know some good room in the electrode right there. I still have a, a pretty good, decent gap. It's not warped at all. So yeah, this is what you're gonna look for. For normal spark plug, like I said, this video is to help you guys to keep your vehicles running, you know, the way it needs to be. Um, I'm going to keep the videos coming. I appreciate all the love and support from the subscribers. This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors with another video for you guys. Peace.